Hey, what's up, Internet? I'm Noel. Complexity has some great news, but first... After these messages, we'll be right back. Yesterday, Complexity was proud to announce that Gunjar has been approved and finally granted his P1 visa, which considers the Call of Duty player an international athlete. Surprisingly, Gunjar, who's Canadian, is one of the first Call of Duty players to receive a P1 visa to play in the U.S. This is redonkulous. Absolutely redonkulous. Capisce redonkulous. You know what that means? <laughs> playing professionally under a tourist visa for several years, he finally ran into the man back in April while playing under Team Caliber. With just hours before Stage 1 relegation matches began at World League, Gunjar was denied access through U.S. borders. Apparently, increased security felt it was important to deny him access and to try to read his text messages. I don't like people playing on my phone. Look, I tried to look for the actual video clip, but this is the best I can do. Ta-da! General Manager Kyle Batista noted that after working with Activision Blizzard, ESL, and the legal team at McCowan and Evans, Gunjar shouldn't have any further issues competing in the U.S we may see him compete with Complexity at MLG Anaheim in June. Even though this is great news, eSports still has a road ahead before it's officially recognized worldwide. With that said, apparently it's much harder for the Canadian player and international eSports players in general to get inside the US, but at the same time, we're completely okay with this guy. Oh, uh So tell me, Internet, do you think this visa situation will eventually become a figment of the past, or will it never end? Let us know in the comments. I'm Noel. Find me on Twitter at FirstNoelPVP, and you're watching esports on PVP Live.